everyone, today we are going to create a fish painting inspired by the art of Sandra Silverswig. Um, she is known for her designs using really bright colors and lots and lots of pattern. She has a condition called synesthesia that means that she does more than just see color. Her senses are blended so she can hear color, she can taste color, she can smell color. And so because of that, her um, color is her kind of her major inspiration for a lot of her art. She uses a lot of very bright colors. When we create our design, we are going to need a couple of things. You're first going to want to make sure you have a pencil to draw with and then some crayons, including a black crayon. And then you'll also need your watercolor paints and a brush and a water cup. So once you have those things ready, we're going to start by drawing the fish first. We're gonna make a really big fish. So you can use your hand or you can even set the paintbrush down here because you wanna get some measurements. So you wanna put a little dot here either at the, you do it at the end of each side of your hand or if you have your brush out, you could do that. That is gonna help make the fish body nice and big. So then once we've done that, we're gonna make a football shape for the fish body. So that means I'm gonna draw a curve from dot to dot one for the top and then one for the bottom after that i'm going to add a line for the face and it could go this way or this way that's really up to you and then this is important i'm going to make a line for the tail i'm going to start above the fish and come down to the fish and then go down past the fish and this is going to be the end of the tail then i'm going to go to the end of that line and draw a line back towards the body to make the tail. You don't want to go this way. You want to make sure you go towards the fish. And then the last part there is the fin and the eye. And I like to make a very large eye. You could also make it look like a human eye if you want to. You see that in her work a lot where she has the, the almond or oval or lemon shape around the eye. So if you wanted to add that in, you could even do little eyelashes, things like that. Now, once you have a big fish, you can draw a small fish. So I think I'm gonna put my small fish up here. So I'm gonna put two dots and then follow the same steps. So a curve and a curve, and then the face and the tail, drawing the tail towards the body, a fin and an eye. Once you have those fish, you're gonna add eight or more movement lines. So she uses a lot of movement lines around the fish. You can see she's got this one that looks like a plant. There's wavy lines, there's straight lines. She uses all sorts of different kinds of lines. So you can do all the same if you want them all to be wavy or you can mix them up. You could do a loopy, you could do a bumpy line, a wavy line, zigzag line. So right now I have four, so I need four more. Um, you can just do a straight line. You could do a line that you make into a plant, like that. Um, all right, so now I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I need two more. I feel like I need this space over here to have maybe uh, a couple of lines. So I'll do a straight one and another kind of wavy one. All right, now that I have eight lines, I'm gonna create some patterns. Now she uses a lot of different kinds of patterns in her art. You can see we've got our crisscross lines, we've got our circles, our dots, our swirls, our broken lines. There's all sorts of different things you can add. So I have some different examples here. Um, when you're doing this, you're gonna use crayon. Oh, I skipped a step. You're also gonna use a crayon to trace your lines. So this actually would probably be good to do after, or but you can do it before. Um, you wanna go over your pencil lines with the black crayon. Now, you need to press kinda hard. You don't wanna press too hard. But when you're tracing your lines, make sure that you try your best to stay on the line. So go slow, don't go too fast. All right, so that's actually probably the next step you should do there is to trace the pencil lines in black, then create the patterns. Now, when you're creating patterns you're also going to use crayons so you don't really need your pencil anymore so once you've traced all your lines and you're ready to make patterns you're going to choose some colored crayons 
All right, I'm almost done here. Got the little fish to do. So when I add patterns, I usually use the same color more than once. I try to use it twice. All right, so if I wanna do maybe, I'll, I'll do a pattern in the face first. So I'm gonna do a broken line pattern in the face. I'm pressing kind of hard again. If you press too light and you use the watercolor paint on top, the crayon will not resist the paint and pop back out. So when we do this, we wanna press a little bit hard so that the crayon pushes the paint off of it. So I'm gonna use this color again somewhere else that's not right next to this. So I don't wanna use it here or use it here, but I could definitely come use it over here. So then I'm gonna add maybe a straight line pattern here. And then after I've used that color twice, then I switch to the next color. So then I grab, maybe I'll grab this purple. And I'll do, let's see, I'm gonna do a swirl pattern here. And then I'll use purple again for one more place. I think I'll use it on the little fish body. And on the little fish body, I am gonna do, um, kind of make it look like bones almost. It's a pattern that you can see in some of her art. So I have an example where I've already done all my patterns. So I'm gonna switch to that now. So this one you can see there's a pattern in every space. And I've used the same color, but I've not done the same pattern with that color. So this one um, is zigzags, and that one is like what I just did. Or I used purple twice, but this one's crisscross, and then I used the bumpy lines here. So I'm going to get all our patterns first, then you're ready to start painting. Now, it does help to get your paints ready with a little bit of water. So um, you can just kind of pinch the brush and drip some water into your paints. That'll kind of help get them started. So I'm just kind of dipping and then pinching the brush. Kind of make sure I have enough water. And that really helped with paints, getting them started. That way you get good color. Now, you have to be careful. If you use too much paint and not enough water, it's gonna cover your lines. Um, if you use too much of anything, it's gonna cover your lines. So you do wanna be careful. You also don't wanna use the same color in the same space you have the crayon color. So I don't wanna use green paint in a green crayon space, but I could definitely use green paint in a pink space. So when you get started, kind of swirl a little bit, get the water and the paint mixed up. It should be kinda of like a little puddle on top. And then carefully paint it and you should see the crayon push it away it may not happen all the time but I like to do the edges first then kind of work to fill in my middle and if I feel like there's not enough color I can go grab some more but I just want to be careful because if I'm putting too much on there then it's definitely going to cover the crayon and the crayon won't pop back out so then I'm going to clean my brush maybe I'll do let's see I'll do the dark purple here for the body so clean brush now I'm going to get some purple paint and I am going to paint across, oops, got a little bit in there. You can see the crayon is starting to kind of pop back out. So if your crayon is not popping out, you have to ask if you're using too much of something. If you're using too much paint or you're using too much water, um, and if that's the case, then obviously use less and it should pop back out. So then you're just going to kind of keep going and painting each of your spaces. And when you're done with all of your spaces, make sure you let it dry before you pick it up so the paint doesn't run around on the paper. So then when it's finished, it looks like this one. All right, I hope you have fun. I'll see you later.